Good morning, everyone. I feel like today is a really good glimpse at just kind of our homeschool life with five kids. Um, I just made um happy, mad, and sad. Duncan is learning about his feelings today, and he did a really cool project on out school with Play-Doh. So he's gonna show us the different things he created, and he's gonna teach us a little bit about feelings. Sad. Oh. Sad. That is sad. What's your sad face look like? Yeah, what's a time when you've been sad? When I don't get to go to the park. Oh yeah. That's happy. Oh, that is happy. And what does your happy face look like? Oh, so happy. And tell me a time when you felt happy. Um, when I get to go swinging on the swing. What else makes you swinging feel happy? Very high. Oh yeah, swinging very high is great. And then. Wait, does Bailey make you happy? She wants to know. Yeah. Bailey makes you happy too? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. Are you going to class, Bailey? Yeah. Do you know which class it is? Yes. Yeah. What is it? Uh, goal setting. Goal setting. <laughs> Get it. What does goal setting mean? Goal setting means she's gonna learn how to set a goal for herself and then make a plan for how she's going to achieve that goal. Oh, and this is mad. Oh dear, let's turn it around. Oh, Duncan's got, whoa, that's really mad. What's mad. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's a really mad face. Oh, a whole mad body? And tell me about a time when you felt mad. Um, I felt mad when I don't get to go to a house. Oh, a house? Just any house? Yeah. You just want to go to a house? Yeah. <laughs> and then you get mad? Yeah. When was the last time you felt mad? I didn't get mad. No, you didn't get mad? No. Have you ever been mad? No. No, never. Don't think so. Maybe someday? Yeah. Mad isn't a good feeling to have all the time anyway, so. What feeling do you think you feel like the most, most of the time? Happy. Oh, that's good. Happy feels a lot better than mad. Yeah, and I get sad and happy. Yeah, me too. But we all have those different feelings at different times, and that's okay. I don't want really to get mad. Me neither. But it still happens sometimes. Oh, good cleanup. Okay, here are your letters. Thank you. I'll do A first. That's a good idea. And then if you run out of Play-Doh for your next letters, just take it off of the A for the next letters, okay? I will mix them up, okay? I bet you will, <laughs> okay. One strategy I have with Play-Doh, especially for kids around Duncan's age, is to only give them one or two colors at a time. If he asked, <laughs> I know that it's inevitable that he's gonna mix up all the colors. That's a really tricky thing to ask a kid his age not to do. So I just go ahead and let him, it doesn't bother him, and it kinda is what it is. But if I gave him like my whole rainbow of colors right away, I know they just turn into a big blob of brown, then it wouldn't be as much fun for him for the next time. So I try to limit him to only one or two tubs of the Play-Doh per time we do something like this, just to conserve the Play-Doh. Look at, I mixed it up. You did. Oh, that's looking good. So one thing that we did this morning that's kind of new to us is Luke started with an early intervention specialist. He actually started last week, and the reason that we're working with one is because he is 10 months old and in our area, in order to qualify for speech, you have to be 18 months old. So we wanted to help him with his speech and language development. We wanted to help him with like oral motor functions and you know, we had the choking incident and stuff like that. So we just wanted to help him in that arena. She's also very aware of certain developmental milestones and she's kind of helping us work towards those things. Like right now she's been helping us encourage him to wave and like say hi and bye and just kind of, it seems to me like she's working on 
identifying motions to words. I have gotten a lot of comments from people who are like speech language pathologists, specialist people, uh, recommending we go in that direction with Luke. And I really have been trying. I talked to our regional center several times about it and they're just like, no, we don't do it until 18 months. Like it's not going to happen. That's just not how it works, but they have this person. So we're like, okay, like we're new at this. We don't really know anything. <laughs> <laughs> We're trying our best and as far as I know, this is our option. And then we'll reassess when he gets closer to 18 months and see if he'll still be needing assistance there. We can get an idea from his diagnosis of some expected outcomes, but there really isn't anything guaranteed in either direction. Right now he's saying things like Dada, he says a lot and like Baba and he'll kind of babble a little and he'll squeal and like, <laughs> and he'll laugh and he'll be very engaged with us. He's not saying things like mama yet. He hasn't identified an object as a word. He's crawling really well and sitting up and all of those things. I think you guys probably have noticed that they just, happen so fast when they do happen. So it's like, oh, we're trying to get him to crawl, we're trying, we're trying. And all of a sudden it's like, oh, he's crawling now. He totally crawls. We wanna help him reach his personal like potential as best we can, but there are things that will be outside of our abilities and that's fine. So we did that this morning and then Parker had like a story time class and Duncan did his Play-Doh emotions class. Bailey's going to goal setting, I think right now. I think she has a Seuss rehearsal or something and then we'll be doing our zoo science kits throughout the day but that's what we do like all day long just random things like that and then like you know feed them <laughs> i made a promise yesterday that we would check in with parker today about his reaction to seeing hamilton on disney plus for the very first time so parker it was amazing it was so <laughs> cool and so good um so once he was just like, you are nothing without, no, um, no, that's another scene, but probably the saddest part was the boy dying, the little boy. There's a lot of funny parts. I don't know which one was my funny part, my best funny part. I want to show you the funny, the funniest dance moves that um, Hamilton does. So this is the first one. And then this is the second one. <laughs> and then this is the third one. <laughs> oh. He like he like goes behind his jacket, flips it up. <laughs> <laughs> Jacob's in here working on some math, right? Yeah, with your headphones. Yes, you are. While he waits for his scones in the oven. <laughs> you just was sitting there watching the clock. Yeah. So you got some Hamilton, you got some math, you got scones in the oven. Yeah. Sounds like a very productive morning. I'm using your headphones though because they're soft. Okay, we've got all alphabetical and we'll put your emotions in your tray too. You have all your Play-Doh stuff ready for whenever you need it. How's that feel, Duncan? Good. Thanks. <gasps> Is that your shake shake? Hi. Shake, shake, shake. Good job. Whoa. Whoa, that is some good shaking. Yay! Whoa, whoa! Shake, 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 shake. Ooh! Can you That's do fancy? Tap, tap, tap. Tap, tap, tap. Oh, good. Tap, yeah, tap. tap, tap, tap. Tap, tap, tap. Tap, tap, tap. <laughs> so one of the things she's recommending we do with him is have things like his shaker, which he's already really interested in, and like tapping, which he's doing, and just going shake, 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 tap, shake, tap, shake. tap, and relating things that he oh, likes okay. and is interested in with simple words that maybe he can start connecting that language to. So we're really emphasizing that with him. Go shake, shake, shake. shake. Tap, tap. Tap, tap, tap. Tap, tap, tap. Shake, shake, shake. Ooh, good job, Daddy. Shake, shake, shake. Yeah, good shaking. Shake, shake, shake. <laughs> good shaking. You'll notice he's sporting his new uh, knee pads today. Oh, so look at got, that traction. Look, yeah, it's got a little built-in traction here and padding, so. Nice. You can really get around. Yeah, I didn't really explain that well yesterday. 
<laughs> the reason I was searching for like knee pads specifically for Luke, uh, because I didn't get anything like that for my other little kids, was because I was seeing him doing his crawling and then his back legs kind of collapse a little bit more than my other kids did because he has that lower muscle tone. So in my head I was like, I wonder if there's anything that helps kids stay supported in that crawling position because he can get up and do it fine and he can do several like crawling motions on his own fine. But then his legs just kind of like, I call it frog out. I do think that as he crawls more and works on those muscles more, it will naturally just get stronger and happen less for him. I was hoping that maybe it could help in case like, the constant frogging out developed like a bad reflex in his hips or something and I'm just making this up like as a mom. This was not recommended to me by our PT or OT or anything like that. But I was just like, oh, I wonder if he has more traction. Maybe, maybe that'll develop a little bit easier for him. But he sure has been doing well lately. He's been sitting up on his own. He's been crawling all around. <laughs> and he's- He reached right for me. He reached right for you. You big boy. You big boy. Oh! You big city uppy boy. Ah. You want kisses? Here you go. You want a hammer? Oh, where's Lukey? Where's Lukey? I cannot find him anywhere. Where's Lukey? Oh! Where's Lukey? Where's Lukey? Oh! Where'd he go? are out of the oven. How was it, Jacob? Good. Trying to eat it as slow as I can, but it's still hard. <laughs> Preserving it? What about you? I can't finish. <laughs> oh my goodness. How is it? It's so good. <laughs> Where's your scone? I ate it all. <laughs> oh yeah, how was it? Okay. How is it? That's really good. This is my second one. Oh, <laughs> they just got out of the oven, I thought. I'm quick. I'm very quick. <laughs> in a big family, you gotta be quick with the food. You gotta get in there and get it. Yeah. <laughs> Are you so happy with your brother? <laughs> Time for zoo camp. So we're finding all the silver stars today. Silver! The boys will be making paintbrushes out of nature. So they're currently looking for sticks that can be their paintbrush handle and then like little leaves or branches. Oh, that's a good one. Is that what Duncan found? This is what I found. I found Wonderful. Found oh, that's, that's a good one. You might want it to be a little thicker because that might break easily, but put it in the tray just in case we can't find anything else, okay? That'll be a maybe. You guys ready to make your paintbrushes? Yeah. What about a piece of this fern? Sure. That would be cool. Okay, let's. We need to snip this off. I just made these two. Those are fantastic. You need help? Okay, Jakey's being the assistant. Ooh. Oh. Oh. It's kind of hard to do with the dry leaves, but I was trying not to pick anything. Jacob's helping out because my hands are kind of full. Yeah. Huh, cutie? <laughs> oh, Duncan, is that your paintbrush? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Oh, Jacob, is that your paintbrush? Oh, I think so. Oh. It's a detailing brush so that I can make all the details. Nice. Um, I don't do details. <laughs> okay. I don't do details either. <laughs> Oh, the details, Jacob. Whoa, Duncan. Thanks. Looking good. Oh, mine works good. Look at that. What was that, the fan brush in action? Whoa. I'm going to have this for Jacob's birthday because it is black. So Jacob loves black and blue. Nice. Can you believe you just made these paintbrushes? 
just made them. Like you don't even need to buy paintbrushes at a store. You can make paintbrushes. That's cool. Everybody, watch this video and tell your family and friends to watch this video to learn how to make paintbrushes so that you don't have to go to the store That's to make paintbrushes. Dark. If you live in an area with wood and stuff like that. Bailey's running her Zoom rehearsal right now. We've got both boys here on the Zoom meeting and then Bailey's actually upstairs in her room leading the Zoom no, meeting. No, 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 no! Oh. In between Susical and waiting for the little kids to wake up, Jacob's been playing with these Kapla blocks, which are these little blocks, which are pretty cool. They're, they're really simple. They're all the same shape, but you can build all sorts of cool stuff with them. I like to give the kids challenges. Today's challenge was a bridge, and it really helps them brainstorm, try new things, and, and come up with different types of like architecture or engineering. I wanted him to solve the problem of creating a bridge with these blocks, that was further apart than two blocks side by side. And he managed to do it here by creating heavy towers here. So basically I made it so that strong towers here and here that have a lot of weight on it, that means that when this goes on, it, it can still break, but it's not as, it won't break as easily. Yeah, you had it kind of calibrated a second ago. You put some more weight on the middle, but he's he's been working on different ways of, of solving the solution yeah. of how to suspend these blocks because they're all they're all the same shape. There's not really a way of of making them like once you get past here, it just sort of collapses. So he's trying to figure out ways of doing that. Yep. And we've both been experimenting. This is some of my experiments that I haven't quite gotten it yet. But Jake came up with this solution. I think this is a really good solution. But now that Duncan's awake, Jacob's gonna start working on his zoo camp box and Duncan's gonna go outside with him and I think they're doing a little bit of bird watching today, which should be fun. So it is 9.30 at night right now and we are still doing some school stuff. Bailey and I are just finishing up some of her remaining zoo camp things and <laughs> I'm a little nervous she's gonna try training me. <laughs> what you can do with that Bailey. <laughs> I like to do some of the bigger kid homeschool work in the evenings when the littlest ones have gone to sleep. It's just easier for us in this season of our lives. So that's what we're doing. And also Bailey has a lot of online classes that she takes during the daytime. She's often very busy during the day. Did you have any good online courses today Bailey? Yes. <laughs> I did my last musical rehearsal. Yes, physical premiering so Saturday. You don't have anything to be nervous about, sweetie. It's gonna be amazing. <laughs> So Bailey's production of Susical is for her family and friends. It's just a very relaxed performance that I think they're doing a cappella. Are, are you still doing it all a cappella, Bailey? Yeah. Yeah, they're doing it a cappella, and like parents are gonna show up on Zoom and watch the kids who've been working so hard on it all summer long. And Bailey has directed it and put the whole thing on with her friends, and it's just been really sweet. I feel like it's almost like a theater club that she's been doing. They just have like a really good time together. So we're looking forward to that, huh? Yeah. And Bailey is playing the cat in the hat. And Parker, you want to say what your part is? I am the kangaroo. <laughs> Parker, I really appreciated how you did that quietly because you knew the little kids were asleep. I really appreciate that. That's something Parker's been working on. Bailey, have you incorporated the clicker into your uh, directing technique? No, I should do that on a show. You love your clicker. Could you imagine having a theater director using a clicker video uh, when you didn't do things right? No. no, no, the clicker means you did something right. That's even worse. <laughs> <laughs> so Bailey has fully embraced the clicker life. <laughs> Am I saying it right? Do I do a good job? <laughs> yes, I've noticed your vlogging has improved since Bailey got her clicker. I'm doing such a good job. Yeah. Uh-oh, uh-oh, that's... That can't be the good one. <laughs> so this is what Parker worked on today. It's an anteater. Wanna show his little tongue? 
so cute. <laughs> Parker, do you remember how many times a minute the anteater's tongue goes in and out of its mouth? 150. That is absolutely correct. So our homeschool day is continuing for a little longer, but I'm done vlogging for the day. <laughs> is that correct? So I hope this gave you guys a glimpse of what we do in our daily lives. I know I missed parts of it just because this isn't a 24 hour long video. Um, <laughs> so thank you for joining us on our day and checking out a little glimpse of what homeschooling looks like for us.